Hey there, great that you join us. My name is Mick. This is a micro bit. In this mission, you are going to program it. A microcomputer is a tiny computer with which you can easily make a lot of fun things. In this mission, you will discover how such a microcomputer is constructed, what it can do, and then we are going to program it with real code so that it will show your name in lights. A microcomputer is actually just a small version of a real computer. It has a microprocessor, the part with which the computer calculates, and often a number of other chips, and you can program it to do a lot of other things. In and around the house, there are many devices that have a microcomputer. Let's do a quiz. I will show you a picture, and then you may say whether or not it has a microcomputer. Ready? Here we go. Telephone? Yes. Yes, this absolutely has a microcomputer. A drone? Yes, this too. A pen? No. Of course, this has no microcomputer. Coffee maker? Yes again, the microcomputer regulates the temperature of the water for instance. Earphones? No, electronica yes, but no microcomputer. As you can see, there are many devices that have a microcomputer. So this is one of those microcomputers, the micro bit. What is there in and on such a micro bit? If you look at the front, you see two buttons, A and B, that you can simply program to do what you want it to do. You can use the copper strip on the bottom to attach other things to it using a clip or a cable. And then there are 25 small LED lights. On the other side, you can find, among other things, the battery connection a USB port, a Bluetooth antenna for a wireless connection with your phone, a digital compass so that the micro bit knows which way it is pointing to, a movement sensor with which movement such as shaking or speed can be measured, a reset button to reset the micro bit to zero, and the microprocessor, the heart of the computer. What are some of the things that you can make with it? Well, truly all kinds of things. For example, make music, build an alarm for your room, hack the Christmas lights. Too much to mention, actually. After these missions, I am sure you can think of something to make too. Well, now we really get to work. Start up your browser and go to this page, makecode.microbit.org, and click on New Project. This is the micro bit editor where you can program your micro bit yourself with blocks of code. An editor is a program or app with which you can make digital things. You need a text editor to type and this editor is here to create computer code with. All the way on the left, if your screen is big enough, you can see the micro bit. If you are watching on a tablet or phone, then the micro bit is all the way on the bottom. Next to that, you see a number of colors with the word behind them. Under each word, there is a group of blocks of code. You can see them when you click on it. These blocks are the instructions that you can give your micro bit. The right hand side of the site is the programming field. This is where you drag your code blocks to, and together they form your program. All the way on the bottom, you can find the button Download, the title of your project, and four buttons to the right. The first two you use to go forward and to go back. The other two you use to zoom in and out. That is the micro bit editor. Now to work. First, from the left bar with the blue basic blocks, take the block show string and drag the block to the center field. You see that the block is yellow gray. This means that it is not active. In order to make it active, it first needs to get an assignment. Drag it into the blue block forever. Now, if you pick up a block and you hover it over the forever block, you see the yellow line light up. This means that these two blocks fit together, like this. 
Now they click together. Your turn. You can always pause this video while you are working on your program. Did it work? Take a look at the micro bit left on your screen. If all went well, you see the word hello pass by in lights. Only we don't want the word hello, we want to see our name. The word hello is placed between commas. Remove that word, double click on it and remove the text with the backspace button. Now the field is empty. Click on it again and type your own name in the field. Well done! You now have written your first real computer code. But we are not done yet. It would be nice if the microcomputer would only show your name if you pressed button A. I will remove the show stream block from the forever block. Now from the purple input blocks, take the block button A is pressed. Then drag the show stream block inside this block. You have now made a script consisting of different commands. What it actually read is just, if I press on button A, then show my name in lights. We are going to test it. Click on the button A on the micro bit on your screen. And did it work for you? If it did, super. If it didn't work, rewind the video and check step by step if your script, the blocks, is exactly the same as the example. Now we are going to send the code to your real micro bit. To send this code to your microcomputer, we first have to download the code to your computer. Give the script a name and then click on the save icon. The download will start automatically. In my case, the hex file shows up in the folder Downloads. Now I connect my micro bit to my laptop with a USB cable. A new drive appears, micro bit. Next, I drag the file to my micro bit and there it is. Disconnect the micro bit from the computer. It no longer receives power, so first we have to connect some batteries. You do that by placing the batteries into the battery holder. Then connect the plug to the micro bit. Now press the A button. Did it work? Great that you joined us and see you at the next mission.